Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice square root math problem? Solution from what is given here. Let's take the square on both sides. That is, we have square root of x and square root of x, square root of x here. We have all square. Then equals to this side as well, we have 5 square. Then from here, the square here we cancel the square roots, and this becomes x times square root of x, then square root of x inside. Now equals to let's leave this as five square. The next step as well, let's square both sides again. Then we square this side. We also square this side. Then the square here we affect x we have x square and it will affect this square root so we have square root of x square root of x also square from here which is equals to here this power multiplies and we have 5 raised to power 4 the next step from here this square cancel the square root and this gives us x square times x times root x then equals to 5 raised to power 4 then from the law of indices this is x raised to power 1 here we can add this power since this multiply and we have x raised to power 3 now then times root x now equals to 5 raised to power 4 from here and also next step here we can square both sides again we square this side and we also square this side and this square we affect x raised to power 3 so we have x raised to power 3 square then times root x also square now equals to 5 raised to power 8 from here that is here this power multiply so we have x raised to power 6 here then this square cancel the square roots then we have times x which is equals to here we have 5 raised to power 8 and here this is also x raised to power 1 which implies we can sum this power applying the law of indices and we have here x raised to power 7 now equals to 5 raised to power 8. Then, to remove this power of 7, we multiply both power by 1 over 7. So we have x raised to power 7. Then raised to power 1 over 7. Now equals to 5 raised to power 8. Then raised to power 1 over 7. That is from here. Since this power multiply, this cancel each other. And we have x here equals to also this multiply and this become 5 raised to power 8 over 7 so here we have the value of x to this given problem as 5 raised to power 8 over 7 now let's check to verify if this satisfy the given problem and what we have here let's substitute the value of x which is 5 raised to power 8 over 7 then here this becomes square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 that's x then also we have square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 and also 5 raised to power 8 over 7 with this be equals to 5 from here and then let's recall when we have root a this can be written as a raised to power half. Now, when we walk from this idea, this square root here, we can change to raised to power half. And this becomes square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 here. Then times square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7. Then here, this square root turns to raised to power half. Then we have 5 raised to power 8 over 7 times half from here 
with this will equals to 5. And from here, this power multiply, we have 2 year 1, 2 year, that's 4. So we have 5 raised to power 4 over 7 year, which implies we have square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 year. Then times square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7. Times 5 raised to power 4 over 7 is equals to 5 from here. Then also, since this multiply, we have same base, we can sum the power. Then we have square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 times 5 raised to power 8 over 7 plus 4 over 7. Then is it equals to 5. And also here, when we sum this, we have SEM as 7. And that gives us 12 over 7 there. So we have square root here. Don't forget, we still have this square root here. Then we have square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 now. Then the square root of 5 raised to power 12 over 7 from here. And with this be equals to 5. Then also here, let's change the square root as well to raise to power half. Then we have square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 times 5 raised to power 12 over 7 then raised to power half that's times half here is it equals to 5 then here 2 year 1 2 year 6 so remain 6 over 7 here then we have square root of 5 raised to power 8 over 7 times 5 raised to power 6 over 7 is equals to 5 and then here we have square root of 5 raised to power SEM is still 7 so when we had the power from the law of units we have 8 over 7 plus 6 over 7 and is equals to 5 from here then we have square root of 5 raised to power here this is 14 over 7 and is equals to 5 from here and from here as well let's change square root here to raise to power half so we have 5 raised to power 14 over 7 times half here is equals to 5 and here we have 2 year 1 2 year 7 and we have 5 raised to power 7 over 7 here is equals to 5 and yes, 7 over 7 here is 1. So 5 raised to power 1 is equal to 5. 5 raised to power 1 is still 5. So we have 5 equals to 5, which implies here the left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence the solution to this problem, which is 5 raised to power 8 over 7, satisfies this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now